thanks Sally for it on behalf of Hope. Jeff Richardson under company in terms of conditions there, boys. Got the porter steers there, boys. Good long steers, 484 kilos, right for those steers. Those steers there, who's got 1700? 1700, 1650. Colac agents conducted their monthly sale on Friday. Uh, Terry Dove joins me. Terry, 800 cattle in the market today, uh, which was a little up on the, on the, the month before, but a, a good solid market, but not a, not spirited competition, though. No, the company's more than spirited, was solid throughout. It was hard, a bit harder going, but the price is still compared to the last sale. Uh, very, very similar. Possibly a place a little bit dearer. Yeah. Um, we're standing over a run of the Wood Row Vale um, steers uh, from Michael and Kerry Stewart. Uh, sold very well up to um, uh, uh, 380 cents a kilo of $1,550. Yep. Yeah, but they're wonderful cattle. They spent a lot of money on their breeding. They're reflecting through the cattle now. The same buyers come back to try to buy them every time. They've had repeat buyers now for the last three or four years, and the cattle obviously meet in their stand and everywhere, and they're a wonderful run and a lot of money spent. Yeah, away from that, a, 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 a nice run of le, smaller cattle all around the, the 380 to 420 or 30 cents a kilo. Oh, yeah, and yeah, in that vicinity, but a lot of younger cattle in the day and a lot of very well bred calves, and it's a credit to the vendors, they still turn them out at the moment. There'll be another real good run of calves the next month already getting lined up, not huge numbers, but good calves. But the breeding through the sales here now is very, well, I believe, outstanding. There's a lot of these Euro cars and a lot of your British breeds and people coming to buy them. Yeah, uh, very much a localised field of buying here today. Not too many went out of the district. You've uh, you've absorbed them, you'll sell them again. Oh, well, I hope so. That's what the name of the game. And the point is we've got a magnificent season. There's people with food now they've never seen this back-to-back -back like it's been. And when you've got everything right, it's the same old story. It's like making a cake. You've got it only got to add the water and you get the right bottom. Yeah. Uh, a nice little run of uh, dairy cross uh, uh, Frisian steers and bulls uh, down the back of the, um, you know, they're budget cattle, but they uh, they sell well too. Yeah, they are selling well, but, you know, that's out of my expertise talking about them sort of cattle, but I don't go to that part of the yard. And it always does worry me there. It's more of them getting around. I really think we've got to stick with our quality cattle. I don't know where that's going to finish, but good luck to the people of the way it is, they've got another string to their bow, so at least it's giving them a cash flow. Yeah, uh, cows and calves, not not a big lineup, but some very good uh, Charolais cows and calves at the top of the market, uh, which um, were uh, very viable. Um, rest of the market back on, on a month ago. Yeah, I believe so, and the, the Charolais cows you're talking about, the cows and calves I purchased on behalf of the people, we're talking about these calves I'm standing beside, so they've sold and bought the same day, and I thought the cows were very viable, actually, they were but the point of the matter is that the cattle were viable and there were some good cattle here and it's good the cattle are staying local and we can absorb it because we do love to see people come out of town and support our, our setup here.